Hello guys, welcome to my channel Civology, the study of civil engineering. Today in this video, we are going to design a staircase. By staircase, I mean the area required for a standard staircase. Okay, staircase is a place or space allocated for stairs to reach from one floor to another floor okay so in this video we are going to discuss each and every detail that how can you design a standard stairs by following standard specifications so you guys are requested to watch complete video at the end of this video you will be able to design staircase for any style or any type of the stairs case okay so before we start our today's topic if you are new to my channel you are requested to please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates so let's get started first of all let me tell you the general guidelines for good stairs okay the first point is the pitch or slope for stairs should be between 25 to 40 degrees what is pitch or slope as you guys can see over here the angle which the west slab now there are few technical terms which are used for stairs i have already made a detailed video in which i have explained each and every technical term used for staircase which is critically important for civil engineers to understand if you haven't watched that video simply click on the i button to watch that video or you can go into the description box and click on the given link to clear your concepts about technical terms now over here we are talking about pitch or slope the pitch of a staircase is the angle which the waist slab of stair makes with the horizontal this angle is called as pitch or slope it should be between 25 to 40 degrees okay the second point is width of stair should be 3 feet or 85 centimeters minimum this is the width of the staircase okay it should be 3 feet minimum okay the third point is maximum number of steps in a single flight should not be more than 15 these points are worth knowing okay these points should be in your mind before designing any type of stair minimum number of steps in a single flight should not be less than three now what is flight this is flight number one a series of steps in a single row okay now over here here is the landing part and then there is another flight okay so the maximum and minimum number should be between 3 and 15 height of the riser should not be more than 25 centimeters or 8 inches now what is riser the vertical portion of the step is called as riser and horizontal portion of the step is called as tread and the width of the tread should be between 9 to 12 inches and width of the landing should not be less than the width of the stair now what is landing i will tell you in upcoming slide and winders should be avoided winders as you can see over here the one two and three these steps are called winders which are not rectangular in shape rather they are in triangular shape these steps should be avoided as much as possible for inconvenience okay now let's proceed towards the designing but before we proceed to design step or these guidelines must be followed okay in this video we are going to discuss the design of l-shaped stairs with a landing as you can see over here this is the plane of the l-shaped stair and these are the steps and this one is called as landing the resting portion between two landings is called as or you can say the horizontal or the portion of a staircase without steps between the number of steps is called as landing as you can see over here in 3d elevation this place is called as landing okay and we have already uh, mentioned in the guidelines that the number of steps in a single flight should not be more than 15 and should not be less than 3 okay let's proceed 
now let us suppose that this is ground floor level and this is first floor level between which we are going to design a staircase and the height of the floor is 12 feet it can vary depending upon your design okay it could be 10 and half feet 11 feet 12 feet whatever it is i will just tell you the concept and guidelines uh, to design the staircase now we are doing it for first flight okay as i have already mentioned this is the first flight of the stair and this one is second flight of the stair first we are doing it for first flight okay and the height of the first flight is eight feet it should be kept seven to eight feet so that you can utilize the space below the staircase for storeroom or for washrooms or bathroom etc okay so that the door can be fixed easily beneath or below this staircase and the remaining portion will be four feet it's mean that the height of second flight will be four feet now let us suppose that riser is seven inches as i have already discussed in the guidelines that it should be between as you can see over here the riser entered the uh, you can see over here height of riser should be between eight inches and tread should be nine to 12 inches okay so we are assuming over here the height of the riser is 7 inches and the width of the tread is 10 inches which is well between the standards okay and if we convert it into feet it will become 0.58 and 0.83 feet now to calculate the number of risers this vertical portion of a step is called as riser as you can see over here this vertical portion of a step a step comprises of tread and riser and the vertical portion is called as riser to calculate the number of riser use this formula rise divided by riser height okay and the rise over here is 8 feet rises the vertical height to be covered to reach to the another floor okay or to another elevation and the rise is 8 feet 8 divided by height of riser as we have already assumed is 0.58 so we will get the number of risers which equal to 13.79 or you can say 14 number of risers now to calculate the number of treads we will use formula number of risers minus 1 it's mean that number of treads will always be 1 less than number of risers as we do not calculate or we do not consider this in tread as this is the part of the landing okay so tread is always one less than number of risers so we will get 13 if the number of risers are 14 number of treads will be 13 okay now to calculate this horizontal distance that how much space this first flight will cover on ground to calculate this we will use this formula run is equal to number of treads multiplied by width of tread as the width this is the width of the tread okay as i have already told you this is tread and this vertical portion is riser now if we multiply the number of treads number of treads with the width of the tread we will get the total run this is called as total run and it will be equal to 10.79 feet okay now as we already know the riser riser is the height of the flight okay and now to double check it or cross check it we will use this as the number of risers are 14 as we have already calculated over here and multiply it with the height of the riser we will get 8.12 as we have already taken it as 8 feet and it will approximately will be equal to 8 feet now to check the slope whether this riser and tread lies well between the standards or according to specifications or not we will check this angle which is called as pitch or slope so we will use this formula 10 inverse of rise divided by run as you can see over here rise is 8 feet and run is 10.79 feet so we will get the angle which equals to 37 degree as we have discussed in the general guidelines that this angle should be between 25 to 40 degrees it's mean that the chosen riser and treads are well between 
well according to standard specifications so now you can proceed now let us discuss it for second flight this is the second flight of the staircase okay now as the remaining portion is 4 feet we have already covered 8 feet the remaining portion is 4 feet similar procedure will be adopted and similar formulas will be used that is rise divided by riser height as the rise is 4 feet the vertical height is 4 feet and the riser height of each riser is 0.5 feet we will get 6.89 or you can say 7 numbers of risers will be required to reach that level okay and number of tread as i have already mentioned the number of treads are always one less than riser so number of treads will be equal to six okay now again to check the run and rise to check whether this angle is between 25 and 40 degrees or not we will use the same formula that is 10 inverse of 4 divided by 5 as the rise is 4 feet and this horizontal portion of the step is tread and the number of treads are 6 and the width of each tread is 0 0.83 when these are multiplied we get total run which is equal to 5 so 10 inverse of vertical divided by horizontal we will get the angle which is equal to 39 and again it is well between the standard specification which says that this angle should be between 25 and 40 degrees so you are good to go now let us discuss how much space will be required for this staircase okay as we have already calculated for first flight the ratio of tread and risers are 13 ratio 14 okay and we can calculate the run as the number of treads are 13 and the width of each tread is 0 0.83 so by multiplying we will get the total run which is 10.79 so this width will be equal to 10.79 and the width of staircase is 3 feet minimum okay as i have already discussed in general guidelines that the width of the stair and the width of the landing should be equal to the width of the stair and the width of the stair should not be less than 3 feet okay it should be 3 feet minimum so you will get this distance as 3 feet and the total distance will become 13.79 or you can say 14 feet okay the space horizontal in x dimension x dimension the space required for this staircase is 14 feet for second flight tread and riser ratio is 6 ratio 7 is the calculated treads are 6 and the width of each tread is 0 0.83 so you will get 4.98 it's mean that the height or can, you can say the length in y direction for this staircase is 5 feet and again the width of the landing or width of staircase is 3 feet so 3 plus 5 will become 8 so 14 by 8 is required for this type of staircase so guys i hope you have liked this topic and you have understood the proper procedure for designing of staircase according to standard specifications for similar videos and videos related to civil engineering you are requested to please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates that's all for today